Okay guys, hello. Today we're going to present you about the global marketing report about the Marriott Hotel. Me and my friends Dito are going to present you about the marketing report. So before we present you about uh, our marketing, uh, the Marriott Hotel report, we will show you some videos. For over 90 years, Marriott International has been dedicated to taking care of our guests with a focus on quality, exemplary service, and trust. Today, these values are more critical than ever. As we welcome you back to our hotels around the world, we are committed to providing you with a safe environment that aligns with expert protocols for working to defeat COVID-19. With consultation from our experts in public health, we are redefining our cleaning and safety standards. Starting with our public spaces and high traffic areas, we're going above and beyond our normal protocols. We are cleaning services with increased frequency, dedicated staff, and recommended cleaning agents. Hand sanitizing stations are being installed at hotel entrances, at our front desks, our elevator banks, and meeting spaces. Signage in public spaces will remind our guests to maintain social distances. We will be adding partitions at check-in to provide extra level of precaution for our guests and their associates. In our guest rooms, we have added to our rigorous protocols, ensuring all surfaces are thoroughly cleaned with hospital-grade disinfectants. And we will be placing disinfecting wipes in each room for your use. We're rolling out enhanced technologies, including electrostatic sprayers, sanitized surfaces throughout the hotel. Our mobile technologies provide reassurance and distancing options for guests in over 3,200 hotels, your phone can be used to check in, access your room, and order room service. It can be specially packaged and delivered right to your door without contact. We will actively monitor and evolve our solutions to ensure a continued focus on the health and safety of our guests and associates. So when the time is right, we're here, ready to welcome you back. I'm Bill Marriott, and you've got my word on it. Okay, that's uh, for the video. And now my friends Dito will uh, told you or will present you about uh, the COVID impact of Merit Hotel. So uh, Marriott International has recently provided an update to the company's global workforce on the continuing impact of COVID-19 on its business. Uh, the COVID-19 pandemic is having a more severe and sustained financial impact on Marriott's business. From the, uh, from the first warning sign of this unprecedented event, the company took a number of steps to adapt and strengthen its business, including reducing costs significantly and improving its liquidity but today, Marriott informed its associate that the company will need to uh, implement additional measures in light of the increasing likelihood that it will be some time before lodging demand and refer level. The company informed about property associate in the United States that pull off uh, and reduce work week schedule, which began in April will be extended through the October 2020. Marriott is also uh, rolling out a voluntary transition program for and above property uh, associate in the United States who may choose to leave the company to pursue other opportunities. Similar voluntary programs are being considered in other parts of the world. Given the company's expectation that uh, prior levels of business will not return until beyond uh, 2021. But the company anticipates a significant number of above property position elimination later in this year. The company is not able at this time to predict how many associates will be affected by this uh, separation or any resulting charges or cost setting. This update contains four forward-looking statement within the meaning uh, of federal including statement related uh, to the expected effect on our business of the COVID-19 pandemic and efforts to contain it. Uh, future performance of the company and the company's hotel measure we expect to take in response to COVID-19 in 
and their duration and also the impact and similar statement concerning uh, anticipate future event and expectation that are not historical fact the myriad question uh, the customer that this statement are not got to numerous evolving risks and uncertainties uh, that the myriad may not be able to accurately uh, predict or assess including those uh, they identify and other risk factors that uh, they identify their securities and exchange commission feelings including uh, their most recent uh, report risk that could uh, affect forward-looking statement in this update includes scope of COVID-19, action government, business and individual take in response to the pandemic. The ability uh, of their owner and franchise to successfully navigate the impact of COVID-19, the pace of recovery when the pandemic subsidized and the effect of steps and their property owners and franchises take to reduce operating costs or enhance uh, certain health and cleanliness protocols at their hotels. Any of these factors could cause uh, actual result to differ materially from the expectation they express or imply in this statement. During this COVID-19, Marriott also struggled with their first quarter in 2020. Results were dramatically impacted by the COVID-19. Net income total $31 million in the first quarter compared to the uh, in the year 2019 first quarter report net income $375 million. Beside that, uh, their hotel faced the worst quarterly loss ever through a budding travel recovery in China and offered hope even as pandemic continues to upon uh, the lodging industry. The world's largest hotel company swung to a second quarter loss $234 million or 72, 72 uh, cents a share from year earlier profit of $232 million. As a travel remained depressed during the uh, usually lucrative summer season. There are some preventive uh, measures that the hotel do here are some of the preventive measures. While mentioning some of uh, the leading luxurious hotel Marriott International comes in the road. COVID-19 had its shadow on this gigantic as well and the business house um, down its employees from around 174,000 to nearly 10,000 and to intensive uh, initiative by reconfiguration and rearrangement of furniture to ensure the uh, social distancing of guests along with facilities of prescribed health hygiene by WHO. Not only that, uh, Marriott assured that contribute $10 million worth of hotel stays to healthcare specialists fighting COVID-19 in hard cities like uh, New York, New Orleans, Chicago, Detroit, and another, another city with support from its partner at American Express and J.P. Morgan Chase. Okay, so my part is about the communication strategies. So. Merit Hotel is redefining the hotel visit with mobile at the center, enabling members of its loyalty program to engage in a real-time conversation with staff before, during, and after a visit through the brand's application. While several other hotels' brands have recently moved towards mobile messaging to help guests communicate their needs during their stay, what is unique about the Merit strategy is that uh, guests can also chat with the hotel prior to their arrival. For on-go to the guests, uh, this means that being able to simply tap once to the Merit mobile app icon to be instantly connected to the hotel rather than having to find the hotel phone number and the key in the digits. So the mobile request is the first ever two-way chat features of its kind launched by a global hotel brand. And also mobile request is seamlessly integrated into the Merit app enabling us uh, as a 
enabling us as the customer uh, to communicate with the hotel before and after uh, our stay. So um, the Merit Mobile app is also such a check-in and check-out room uh, ready alerts. So unlike the other hotel apps in which uh, we're unable to communicate once we arrive, Merit uh, Merit Rewards re- uh, members will be able to communicate before their stay, which is critically important for a request such as needing a car service from the airport, ordering an in-room amenity for arrival, or even something as simple as asking for an early check-in. Merit International only stick to the one marketing channel which is focused on digital promotion to their target customers. They focus on promoting their hotel through their website and social media. They also often create a promo code for a discount to offer uh, their guests by sharing on their hotel website promotion page or their social media platform. Also, their app creates loyal customers. With a Merit app, reward members do not have to check in. They arrive at the hotel, go straight to the room, and open uh, the door with their smartphone. The same goes to check out, so uh, the customers can be easy in and easy out. So it's almost like a visiting uh, their own home. The next one uh, for my part is about the global e-commerce. So the Merit International Inc. is helping consumers book hotels and travel plans with their mobile offerings such as an application and optimized site. Consumers can download the apps uh, free from the Apple Store and Android Play Store. And also, uh, if you're still using BlackBerry, you can still use the BlackBerry App Store or you can uh, even scan a QR code featured on the Marriott website and that direct users to their respective respective app store. The app also let travelers make a reservation more than 3,600 3, uh, Marriott location and consumers can use uh, the app to find the nearest location. Consumer can also uh, access or set up their Merit Rewards account as well as see or cancel the reservation. The app features a click to call function that uh, let users for help the Merit reservation. This application and website features have helped Merit to increase their effectiveness in providing service for their customers. Also during the COVID-19 era where people uh, have to do the social distancing. Okay, for my part again is about the competition strategy so uh, Marriott soon realized that one hotel brand would not meet uh, every guest needs therefore Marriott used a wide differentiation strategy as there uh, are several hotel brands that uh, all serve different type of tourists or consumer in the hospitality market from a high-end offerings such as uh, Ritz Carlton and GW Marriott Resort and Spa for consumer that who want upscale or luxurious accommodation to the courtyard by Marriott, which provide in-room office space for business travelers, to the Fairfield Inn that provide Marriott quality for budget travelers, and also Marriott International has lodging brands that will fulfill customers' desires. And also the aforementioned Ritz Culture, Ritz Carlton, and GW Marriott and Marriott Hotels and Resort are marketed to consumers who want to who want more luxurious taste uh, experience and willing to pay higher fees for extra luxury amenities. Courtyard by Merit profit uh, space for business and traveler to set up remote in-space uh, room office and provide the ability to be productive after long of uh, business travel. And then Spring Hill Suits are moderate hotels that offer living space for single travelers of uh, or families to relax before a good night rest. Resident Inn and Town Place suits offer long-term accommodation for travel- travelers looking for a place that more like home. And this apartment offers full-size kitchen and living area with a complete separate bedroom. And lastly, the Farfield Inn, as uh, mentioned above, um, is the for budget travelers who want a merit quality accommodation. So overall, there is a Marriott uh, for all types of event and many Marriott offering in accommodation, all of which provide Marriott exceptional service and quality assisting Marriott and its mission of building the customer's loyalty. So that's all for me. The next will, con- the conclusion part will be continued by my friend Dito. Okay, for the conclusion, 
Marriott Hotel and all of its brand are all about the customer experience, thriving for the best and highest is their main goal. By making the guests feel at home, it results in a huge international name in the lodging business over the years. Marriott's marketing mix is uh, globally the same and is therefore unique in its kind. Are located in all kinds of places to attract every sort of customer and reach the biggest groups of guests. And that promotion of the marriage is nowadays done by the internet, this being one of the most uh, important ways to promote a brand, this to reach a maximum amount of guests to stay in. The core product of the Marriott is their hotels, or better specified, their rooms. Marriott has a different kind of hotels and with all all of the brands have a base and target group. We think that this is what makes uh, Marriott uh, so strong. They have one concept, but they found a way uh, to make that concept work in different places for uh, different people. That way they can attract a lot of customers. Every every Marriott brand has a different price. That's because uh, the different uh, brand want to attract different people. And this formula makes uh, the Marriott uh, so popular. It is a place for uh, every kind of customers. The COVID-19 pandemic has brought disaster for Marriott International to their financial sectors. Many of their executives uh, argue that their business uh, will not recover until the early uh, 2021. In response to, to the pandemic, they reduced uh, the operating cost of their entire hotel and applied for a government fee waiver to reduce building cost per year. However, they can uh, survive even in uh, this tough condition by renting the hotels to uh, the government in Indonesia. Many hotels are leased by the government, including uh, the JW Marriott. As a chief of fund, this will sustain the main maintain uh, hotel revenue even though uh, they are currently uh, significantly declined in the visitor sectors. I think that's all of our presentation. Thank you. Okay, thank you Dito and thank you also for uh, Mem Christine, uh, Mem Levina and also Mr. Vijaya for letting us to uh, present this um, subject. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you.